Back in 1999, there was no Google, Twitter, Facebook, smartphones, tablets. iTunes 1.0, which would revolutionize the music industry, was still two years away. Blogs were still called weblogs, and websites were static papers that took considerable time to update. Our notion of how we interact with the world has changed considerably in the ensuing years. With the advent of the internet revolution, individuals no longer need the political, social, media lead to tell them what's happening. The way people approach authority has completely changed. From their tablets and smartphones, they can research, publish, organize, and even create revolution. Back in 1999, the internet was just beginning to really take off. I've been hosting my cable access show for a little over a year. The idea of making your own media was just years away. Something about the ability to express one's views which were not represented by the mainstream attracted me to producing the show. When I was able to get a press pass for an upcoming streaming media conference, I was elated. This meant vindication for my project. I was no longer on the fringe. My project was vindicated. One of the things I covered that day was a fledgling video sharing service called Always On TV. This was years before YouTube. It seems amazing that one can post one's videos that one made on the web. As you watch this press conference, look at the limitations of the file sizes and streaming abilities. This new technology has made us more socially active than ever because it provided us with tools to create, communicate, and share in ways unforeseen in the past. When I went to tape, my Tai Chi class in 2000, camcorders, mini DV tapes had just come on the market. I was so excited that I could capture this material in such an easy fashion as one of the themes of my show was of alternative health. We've come a long way since then. No longer is the content stored on bulky mini DV tapes which were considered a godsend over the even bigger VHS tapes. Today, you pull out a flashcard and instantaneously it's uploaded and ready to work on. In the past, one had to download the tape in real time and then wait for that tape to process, which was called rendering. Now, we can tell our stories in a nanosecond. It brings together a wide variety of video programming. Uh, everything from movies, feature films, to uh, music videos, to news, to movie trailers, uh, to uh, television shows, we cover the waterfront uh, with our traditional programming. Uh, uh, we're, we're rapidly building that out, adding new programming on a weekly basis. Um, we're excited, for example, to be bringing a, a technology show to our network, uh, Dave Chalk's computer show. Um, on, a, on a regular weekly basis, we're adding uh, new video content to that traditional part of our business. But we call ourselves a two-way video portal because besides the traditional one-way, top-down, TV tower broadcast model that many of the folks at this conference and many of the traditional media organizations are pursuing, uh, we've also pioneered uh, the other part of the equation, which is using the Internet's networking capabilities to allow for the first time in history anybody to broadcast their video out to the rest of the world. And indeed, we feel that uh, the ability uh, to share video and for everyone now to basically use the powerful medium of video to communicate to a global audience is really the most revolutionary part of this uh, streaming technology. Um, we're extremely excited, therefore, to be introducing our personal video channels. Uh, this is a technology we pioneered that lets anyone upload uh, important vid videos that are important to them. For example, uh, here's a video channel where somebody has uploaded um, some extreme fighting videos involving uh, their cats. And uh, we'll watch those in just a second.
Basically, what the personal video channels allow you to do is they allow small businesses, nonprofits, uh, churches, schools, educators, individuals, filmmakers, uh, everyone basically anywhere in the world to use this incredibly powerful medium of video to communicate. And whereas uh, it's been possible ever since Gutenberg invented the printing press for the, uh, the individual or the small uh, uh, business to use uh, text, really the distribution barriers were so huge in video before that that was reserved for large media organizations. But now using our personal video technology, it's possible for anyone anywhere in the world to basically start their own video channel and begin building their own video empire uh, on the internet. Uh, for example, uh, here is a channel started by somebody from Italy who has uploaded to, our, to the channel uh, uh, this, what's in essence an advertisement for a local pizzeria, only in Italy. Um, they've, they've actually done some pretty nice uh, what's called claymation to uh, advertise um, their uh, pizzeria. And at the end of the day, I think if anyone's got a cell phone here, uh, you'll be, and if you've got um, the ability to make long distance calls, you can order a pizzeria, a pizza. I can't guarantee that they'll be open, and I don't know what the delivery time is. But um, basically, uh, the personal video channels, um, for the first time, empower the individual, the filmmaker, uh, people that were locked out of this powerful distribution medium before to broadcast their video to the world. Uh, for example, uh, here's another channel. Uh, which was started by a, a filmmaker who has actually uploaded a full-length uh, independent feature film to the channel. This particular video was encoded by that person um, for low bandwidth, so the quality uh, is that we're not able to take advantage of the good connection we have here. But basically, what you see there is the same thing that you would see over uh, a dial-up connection. Well, the incredible thing about this, uh, about this um, technology is it's just so easy to use. And in fact, I'd like to demonstrate uh, how you can basically start to get your personal video channel going, start it literally in seconds, and begin uh, uh, building out your channel with content in, in only, with only really um, less than a dozen mouse clicks. Um, of course, to, to get your personal video channel, you have to be a member of AOTV. Uh, this is a very simple process that involves um, uh, that involves setting up um, your account, and we'll just set one up very quickly. Basically, by just doing a few mouse clicks, you can join. Uh, you, of course, you can, if you're interested, um, fill out a little bit of additional information. Once you're a member of Always On TV, uh, to get your uh, personal video channel, is again just a few uh, takes a few clicks of the mouse. You have to pick a title for your channel. And why don't we call this um, uh, 21st Century Kitten. And this um, give a, a little description. Uh, if we want to, we can add additional parameters. For example, we can choose a background image. Um, choose literally from hundreds of those. Um, since this has a, a kind of, uh, let's, let's choose um, a background image. And we've got a personal video channel. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, we've created our channel. 
The next step is just to create a video. And as you know, the, uh, the penetration of uh, webcams uh, such as this one is growing rapidly. Already millions of Americans have them. Uh, how many people in this room have a traditional camcorder? Get a show of hands. That's uh, pretty close to uh, every, everyone, basically. It's probably about 80% in the United States. Uh, now, the new, new generation of camcorders are shooting straight to a disk format. Uh, right now, you, if you have an old-fashioned cam camcorder, you still have to run it through a video capture card. But then again, many of the PC manufacturers are including those with their PCs, including Sony and Compaq and Apple, for example, as standard uh, equipment. Going forward, <coughs> Uh, all, of the, all, of the, all of the video cameras will have that capture capability. So as soon as you shoot a file, you'll have an electronic format. Uh, what I'll do right now is show how easy it is to basically create a video. And uh, what we'll do here is use um, some very uh, straightforward software that comes uh, with this Kodak uh, camera, which is a couple of years old. And we'll just record a little video where we talk about where we talk about the tremendous potential of, of video cameras and or, or broadcast, personal video broadcasting over the internet. And uh, once we've made our video, we'll just save it on the computer. Once we've done this, Basically, uploading a video to your personal video channel is as easy as sending an email. It's just a matter of finding the video on your hard drive, and if you're like me, that can actually be the biggest obstacle. Um, but there's that video we just made, and we upload it to our servers at alwaysontv.com. Now, this is using the standard, uh, the standard um, video software that comes with the uh, Kodak Cam, which creates an AVI file. An AVI, not, an AVI file is not ready for streaming, but we have technology that rapidly converts it. So, um, we'll just quickly uh, put a little information describing the video. Uh, we have a uh, system in place that uh, uh, separates out mature content to protect uh, families. Um, we can choose category or create a category. When we create a category called um, press conference or press. Uh, we will not password protect it to keep things simple. And um, you can watch that little indicator at the bottom. Uh, our servers at this moment are converting that video from AVI into streaming format. That conversion is finished. We go to the personal video channel. And uh, here is the video we made just a second, a couple seconds ago, available globally for people to watch. So uh, what we've done here is we basically uh, made it simple, taken all the work out of it, so that rather than, you know, I, I, if you're like me, you, you may have shot a lot of video over the years on your camcorder. However, you've uh, probably got in shoe boxes or you know sitting around on shelves. For the first time, you're able to digitize that, get it all into one place up on the web where you can find it, first of all, where you can tell people about, where people can see it. And when you've done that, uh, you've gained the ability to show your video to people all over the world. And um, one of the really exciting uh, things that we're very proud of with our technology is how once you've created your channel, you can also begin to, you can, you can easily uh, edit it, if we can find that, let's see. Hello. Whoops. Um, 
And so using our media mobile software, it's possible to password protect that video. For example, if it was a video of your, of your family or your children that you didn't want everyone on earth to see, but you wanted to tell grandma, the grandparents about, uh, you could simply password protect it. We'll set a little password here. Uh, by the way, you could also, um, if we decided we wanted to change the look and feel a little bit, that's very easy to do as well. So now, when we go back to see, look, take a look at our channel, you see we've password protected it and we've changed the look and feel. Using warding off. Right. More like warding off. Right. Or press. Like a bubble around the body. So that's one idea of that term. The next part is instead of grabbing, he's pushing. So I'm going to deflect him. And he's really, really hard. I could break his arm so easy just by twisting his arm right here. Relax your arm, please. This is another part of that. Because he's very hard there. So if he's here like this, and he's pushing in, and I go, I go this way, and I trap his arm hard enough, I can snap this because what I'm doing here is I'm rotating, I'm, I'm blocking it, I'm rotating the tricep. See how I move his tricep? I rotate his tricep to spin his arm over. Now this can give me this watch. Because if I turn, I can take his elbow to his body. If I get him down. I can push him forward, hit him in the body, and then flip him over. Whereas he doesn't want to go up on the pile. <laughs> but that's the idea. So that's one, that's another part of it. He comes this way, I do this, and I extend and twist. The other part to it, which is my favorite, is because he's pushing in, I do it from this one. Now I have his back. That's do it again. I will, I will. <laughs> That's why the hands go across. I move him under. Yeah. Okay. And then I grab him by his tricep and spin his final cord by pulling his tricep. Now I have his back. And that's the one I want to show you. That's remember we used to do this all the time, right? But all you're doing is this. That's why when you see this in the form, it goes here, or it goes like that. Yeah. Here, guard. You just grab my body and do the set for guard, right? This is pushing the hand down. This is grabbing his tricep. This is clearing his hand away from my body, and this is throwing him to the side. Then I do, then I do, then I got the guard here. Now I do the same thing. Block, block, turn, trap. So when you get this thing going, it starts to look like this type of motion when you move faster. Because you're circling your hands around your body. So you're taking your you're always taking your right into you and then coming out. Right hand's on top, right hand's on the bottom, the right hand comes to the bottom and curls and left hand's on top. Yes, if yes, so right it's right. always this is the motion. You're always are you always is it always on the, is your right hand always on the inside? No, no, just that's but Left, right hand's inside now. Right hand comes up to the top on the inside now. Left hand's on the outside. It switches over. Then, step. Right hand pushes out. Right hand's on the outside. Then right hand comes to the bottom. But as you turn, it's always your right hand that keeps circling the energy up. Yes. Always the yes. right hand. The right hand, the right hand still does this. Okay. Right. Right. right hand's doing this. And the left hand's doing this. Okay. So you're getting you're getting this propeller motion. Exactly. Two so your propeller's moving. Alright. It's you. when we I never thought about it that way. See? I learned other things. When you turn to your right, because it's your left hand. Put it okay. I'm here, I'm here, right drops, right circles. Right comes to the inside, comes it's up. It's always the right that keeps closer to the bottom. But no, that's the same. Right, the left, the right comes inside, circles, and then comes to the outside. So it's the same. 
But they're they're doing this. They're doing this. Like right? They're doing windmills. Yeah, they're doing windmills. Now you bad. Ladies, practice. Don't just talk. Bridget, help them. Help them with. Uh, I told you. Help them with uh, brush the from white cream spice rice. So you bad the five just because that's what. It, it helps you to open up your lower back more. It helps you to get more understanding of this movement. By me just doing, if you put your hand in my lower back, if, you, if I just do this once from the front, I go like this, and I do the old style of going this way, to this, to this, then to this, I get a little bit of that work in the lower back. Yeah, you're only working this much on the lower back. I'm not getting this. I'm not getting this whole rotation of turning. I'm still getting the spot, right, but I'm getting, getting right. I'm not getting this ability to really stretch my hips open to get my upper part of the body more activated into the system. See, I can understand fairly the shuttle, but I'm right. you need to come around as people are around you to right. defend you. But this one seems like too much of this. That's why. That's why William took him out. That's why we only have one in our in the, in the traditional form. And I put it back in. <laughs> why I put it back in? Because it gives you more work to your lower back. It's a very good system to strengthen your lower back. Now, if you want to do a three, you cut it down and do a three and three. You can go three repulse monkeys. In terms of application, you're really going to do it once, okay. unlike Fair Lady, which is right. useful because you, can, right. you do get around yourself. Right, because you're moving around to different points. Okay. It's different than Fair Lady's right. and um, The application for this, if he's grabbed my left shoulder, my right hand comes relaxed. You, you, you're way too tight. Is, don't put a lot of pressure, because I'm trying to show a technique. If I'm trying to show a technique and you give me too much pressure, you're going to get hurt. Anytime, anytime I share a technique, or I'm trying to teach you a movement, don't give me full strength until, unless I say give me full power. Because it's not going to help you, and it's going to make my yeah. job yeah. 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 You just want to feel what happens. As he holds my, as he holds my shoulder, and gives me pressure to push me, as he pushes, I let my shoulder turn with my waist, and I let this come up. And I disengage him by releasing the hand off my shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then so this is that loop. Right. Okay. That's this thing. Okay. So but instead of just letting him loop with the one hand, I'm going to throw him into my other hand. Relax your arm. I'm going to drop him into my other hand, basically. Right. So as he does this, he pushes in. I grab him here, and I hold onto the tricep, and I scoop his hand away from my body to make him spin. Once I have his back and I can move it. See, that's easy for me because I always tend to come up. And once I come up, I'm dead. I notice you've been practicing this. Right. That's good. I want to show something else about that too, but let's just play this a little bit. So I'm going to show you how it works. So the idea is that if you're holding here and you push, you're just going to turn at this degree. You're going to sweep down, no press up to it. You're going to sweep down and first you're going to grab the tricep. Swing your arm around and pull the tricep. Out. So you got the, you got the. You have them by, you have them right above the they all both joint, and you're holding by the tricep to pull them out. And what you're trying to do is you want to move my spine. So as you do this slow motion, this comes up first, so coming right up the middle. As I push you, you go back. Now grab my arm. Make sure this covers me so you don't get lost in the head. This pushes me down. Pushes me around. Now this one can like go and you pass it this hand and pull me around. Do I? I'm, I'm standing here, but for now, you, yes, you can. But for now, just work on just shifting your weight. You're used to just moving your body where you're standing. It's a easier, it's a harder way to learn it, but it's going to be more more effective later on. So watch. Just here, try it. So as I push you, the first thing you do is as I push, this comes up. These come up together. Think of that together. Yes. Now, clear. Bring me through. Make sure you're going to push, 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 push. Now lift your elbow so you can get go around. Millennium. Now we begin some blues.
Oh, uh...